As Duke Energy focuses on possible power outages from this storm, the utility is also moving forward with a proposal to build a nuclear energy reactor here. WFMY News 2's Ben Briscoe talked to Duke about what could be coming to Stokes County. There are already three nuclear power plants in North Carolina, including one in Wake and another in Mecklenburg. Now, if Duke Energy actually adds one at Blues Creek up in Stokes County, it would be a smaller version, a first of its kind reactor for Duke Energy called a small modular reactor. A traditional nuclear reactor tower is taller than the Statue of Liberty. The small modular reactor is about a third of the size. Duke Energy says it's basically the same technology that already powers nuclear submarines. Except Duke's new reactor would be modified to go above ground where the coal plant is now at Blues Creek. Now it would be powering hundreds of thousands of customers across the triad rather than you know a small crew underwater. The U.S. Department of Energy says this new use of the technology is, quote, necessary to reliably meet our nation's growing energy needs. And the agency's offering $900 million in grants to build the new plants. Duke Energy just applied for one of those for Blues Creek. Nuclear is clean, it's green, and it's available 24 hours a day, which is great for supporting job growth in North Carolina. It's exactly what companies are looking for in terms of dependable power with no greenhouse gas emissions. Duke's been working with national and local leaders to make sure the plant will be safe. In fact, the Stokes County Commission Chair, Keith Wood, could only do a phone interview today because he had another meeting with Duke Energy to get an update. We are very excited to have them do the expansion there because the coal fired will go away. Duke plans to phase out the coal plant by 2036 meaning all the tax money they pay to Stokes County will disappear. The nuclear plant would keep that money flowing. It runs Stokes County. It's that simple. We are a poor rural county, and it would be devastating to Stokes County if, if we didn't have Duke Energy. So take a look at the timeline from the company. Duke Energy says if approved, it would be at least nine years before the, the reactor comes online. That means it could open in 2034. But all the way back here, right now in 2025, Duke is still getting applications in. Construction for the project won't actually start until about 2030.